Now, irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, is characterized by uncomfortable gastrointestinal symptoms, sometimes as such as intermittent bowel pain, altered bowel habits, gas, and bloating. These symptoms range from mild to severe, and they can go and come. The issues which affect up to 20% of Americans may seem minor, but experts say for those struggling with IBS, it has the power to keep them home from social events or even miss days of work. The gastrointestinal issue can affect anyone at any age. IBS is thought to be caused by abnormal contractions of the colon. Experts say among many reasons, certain foods are the cause and trigger of irritable bowel syndrome in people. People who suffer from IBS often have to adjust their diet to find relief. The FODMAP diet, which is gaining popularity in the United States, has been scientifically proven to provide relief for people suffering with chronic abdominal symptoms or irritable bowel syndrome. Joining us in the studio for more is Dr. Onikepe Adegola, founder of Casa de Sante. Dr. Adegola, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. I'm so thrilled to be here. Tell us about IBS and how much it's affecting people and what got you involved into this issue. So IBS is, a, is the second most common cause of absenteeism in the Western world. And 10 to 20 percent of the population of, um, in the United States are actually afflicted with IBS. But only if a small fraction is um, undiagnosed. And it's a cause of great um, inconvenience for people in their daily lives. Do people realize that it's, a, it's an issue specifically or they think, oh, I'm just having a bad digestion or my stomach hurts and, and that's it? So yes, there's a full spectrum of symptoms in people with IBS. So there are people that you know, have occasional um, bad indigestion and issues. And there are people for which it's really debilitating. And they go through a lot of tests and um, have to go to the doctor just trying to find out the cause of the syndrome. So it does range the gamut. Now, your approach is the fact that what we eat is really critical in terms of addressing IBS. Tell us about that and this, uh, this whole approach of FODMAP, FODMAP, what is that? What is it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a mouthful, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. so, it's, um, so it's been shown that a number of short-chain carbohydrates, which are the FODMAPs, um, okay. do, um, in some people, they do, they're not digested. So normally when you eat something, it gets broken down absorbed into the body but in people with IBS a vast majority of them it's not digested and instead the bacteria in the in the tummy in the intestines just um, go to work on them and they um, they break them down and you end up with gas in the, in the stomach and bloating and diarrhea and all the symptoms that come with IBS so um, so for those people, it's been shown that up to 70% of patients with um, IBS are actually helped by this um, restricting FODMAPs in the diet. And uh, what are some of the things to avoid? What is this? What does it consist of? So uh, a major, <clears throat> interestingly, in a, ma a major fact, a thing that you want to avoid is onion and garlic, which is really difficult, yes. as you can imagine, because I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> so many foods have onion and garlic, and yes. then <clears throat> dairies, a, milk, a lot of milk products, a number of vegetables, you know, some of the usual um, suspects like beans, for example. Mm -hmm. And um, so things like that. There's a whole list of um, products that you want to avoid okay. or, or take in little amounts. Yeah. Now, through Casa de Sente, you advocate a certain type <laughs> of food and ingredients and also spices. Tell us about that. Yeah, so, yeah, so we um, provide products for people on this, on this diet. And our products have been scientifically tested to, to be shown to have the acceptable no levels of FODMAPs in our foods. So, for example, a lot more, our foods do not contain any onion or garlic, mm -hmm. which is great for the people on the diet. Um, all the other products are cons compatible with the diet because it's been lab tested. So we have our spices, we have our salsas, um, we have a number of um, products for people uh, on, on this diet just to make them comfortable and, and find something to eat. So, uh, how fast do you find relief after you, you try the, these products? So yeah, so the diet is something that you do in three phases. The first phase, which is the restrictive phase, when you restrict um, all these um, FODMAPs, is about two to six weeks. Okay. And a lot of people find relief within the f first um, two weeks. And then after that, then they can reintroduce the FODMAPs in, in in little bits just to see what they can tolerate because it, it, oftentimes you're not um, reacting to all the FODMAPs, just some of them. And then what you can tolerate, you will 
incorporating your diet going forward. Is there a special test to know which one you are, you are sensitive to? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. Yeah, so there are some tests that people do do to do. They're like a breath test. Okay. And there have been some blood tests that, um, that you know, people have tried. But really, probably because people are so different and these tests are not yeah. exact, it's just to restrict it, you know, bring it back in a little bit and see how you feel. So finally, very quickly, what is your advice for people who suffer from IBS? So I, my advice is, you know, see your doctor, see your dietitian, try the FODMAP diet. We know we can get our foods at um, casadosante.com. That's where we, we sell our foods online. And um, we have a lot of resources for, the, for people with IBS on the FODMAP diet. We have meal plans and we have... Um, we have an app that can, which can we has a food diary which they can use to track their eating and see what works for them. Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us.